Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Today, as part of our code smell series, we are going to look at what are the different factors that make a code bad. Again, these are not bugs. These are weaknesses in your design that may slow down the development or increase the risk of bugs or failures in future. Our first factor is comments. Is adding a comment a code smell? Yes, if you add too many comments and you add a comment for an easily understandable code. Before you add a comment, ask this question to yourself. Why do we need a comment here? What does this comment communicate? Comments are for people, not for machines. Think about refactoring in code so that comments are not needed. Most developers will understand the code except for some complicated logic. This is where you should be adding a comment, not on all places. Next is long method. Try avoiding longer methods in your code. Shorter methods are easy to read and understand for a developer who looks at the code. The ideal length of code is 20 for a method. Methods with 5 lines of code indicate that you are breaking up the code too much, making it harder to understand. Too many parameters. Avoid too many parameters in the method signature. The ideal number of parameters as per the check style static code analyzer is 7. Well, in my case, Keeping it less than 5 makes it easy to understand and read. Most developers have this habit of adding type to the variable names. Avoid embedding types to variable names. Here are some bad examples of the naming conventions. These should be avoided. Bad naming convention is also a code smell. Many developers have trouble with naming the methods or variables with an efficient name. Here are some examples which should, you should be always following. Use lower cases for packages. Packages cannot be camel cased. Use camel case for variables and methods. Avoid using underscores. Avoid names starting with numbers. There are a lot of things. There's a whole lot of article in the internet available how to name uh, the variables and methods efficiently. I suggest you take a look at that. Then dead code. So if you have an unused code or a commented code, delete it before you push to the repository because that commented code or unused code is completely not needed when you build your package. This is a good standard practice that you could follow next time when you push a code to the repository. Avoid using too many temporary fields in the code. If your class has too many temporary fields, it is time to refactor the code. Some developers tend to use a lot of temporary fields especially to make it easier for them to code the code for the you know, functionality. But that is really bad coding. You have to look at better design pattern or strategy to avoid usage of temporary fields. If a derived class does not honor the contract of a base class, it tends to change the program behavior. This is called refused bequest. A better example would be Liskow's substitution principle. We must make sure that new derived class are extending the base class without changing the behavior. If your code does this, then you have a code smell there. If you have a class or method that just delegates the input to another class, it is time to remove that class or method and call the endpoint directly. A better example would be, uh, let's say you have a controller, you have a service and you have a, a DAO layer, okay? Sometimes what happens is like when you get the inputs in the controller, the service layer doesn't do much. It is just going to you know, uh, pass the input from the controller to DO layer by just calling the method of the DO layer. Such implementation is completely you know, not required and can be avoided. Cut out the middleman. Next, let's look at solution sprawl. If you have too many classes to perform a solution, you might have a solution sprawl. Time to refactor the code. In an ideal case, if you are not able to you know, put together the functionality within three classes, then it is said to be a problem in your structure strategy. Thank you guys. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos.